Oh, something is over here. Oh, that's interesting. Those pictures were not there before. Painting? What? There's a niche carved into the wall. There's something painted inside. Yes, I can see that. What is it, though? Eyes. Eyes and children. Uh, forks running after a girl. Okay. That was already there. Are there any paintings like that in the next room? No, you think that would be right there. Okay, let's go. Let's see if we, what's... Actually, let's go through the workshop door real quick, real quick. See if there's anything in there. Then we'll go through the other door. Oh yeah, that's great. I love that noise. It. I knew it would come, in li come to life and get me stuck behind there again. That was freaky. Okay. That. I don't think that was there before. I don't like the look of that. And by the look of it, I mean that it's looking at me. Okay, the room of shoes is freaky. Alright, let's get out of here. Nothing else in there except the clamp, if I need the clamp in the future. Note to self. Okay, yeah, those things are broken. But there's pictures in here, and I don't understand. So can we open the door? I thought we could open the door now. We did the ritual. Decrepit boards. Okay, so we did the ritual. We can see new things now. Alright. There were Castor and Pollux. Okay, so now we have to read the other book. Oh, what's this? Woods. What is that? I just heard my own voice. I was groaning, for I had injured my leg. I still have the scar. I recall being in the woods, but then my memory is blank. Who did I encounter that day? Was it a mem- is that a memory? Oh. Okay, maybe the picture goes over the other picture. So let's click on that. Uh, woods go here. Painting? No. I keep remembering to hit I to get out of that menu. Alright, so maybe the painting goes over that. That picture goes over that picture? No. Don't know. So let's look in this book Lucian and Margarita. In times gone by, youths ventured into the woods to vow their eternal love. Thus, on that day, Lucian the shepherd took Margarita by the hand and led her amidst the trees. Margarita was sweet, like the spring with hair like gold threads, and her hands were as quick in cotton spinning as a nightingale was in flying. For all of this, the shepherd desired her hand in marriage. It was a beautiful October day. Today is October, and the snow seemed to be yet distant. But after a long walk and while, they were amidst the thick of the woods, and the sun was covered by the clouds, and Margarita said, Please, my love, let us return home. A cloud has covered the sun, and if a thousand drops were to fall from the sky, sick we could become, you and I. But the shepherd replied, One more step, my dove. I have heard the sound of an axe, and I do not want those woodcutter ears to eavesdrop our vows. Margarita followed him, and on they walked for a hundred steps more. The sky darkened, and the maiden trembled. She pleaded, Please, my love, let us return home. The cloud is darker, and if a hundred flakes should fall, the path will vanish, and they won't ever find us at all. But the shepherd had seen a hunter several trees away, and he did not want the hunter's eyes to spy in their kisses. 
He replied, Courage, my dove, one more step. A hundred steps later, a very white light flared far in the distance, and Lucian clenched his beloved's hand more tightly because he desperately wanted to reach it. Snow had begun to fall, and the young maiden desired to go back. She dragged her feet and pleaded, but Lucian gripped her hand in tighter and dragged her. Margarita wept, Please, if you love me, stop and let us try to find the way home. But the young man no longer heeded her. Margarita tried to stop him whilst the light before them continued and grew. He let go of her hand and proceeded alone. Margarita fell upon the ground while he disappeared into the storm. Thus she gathered all her courage, took her skirt in hand, and rushed to stop him, because she truly loved him and did not want any harm to befall him. But Lucian, feeling his hands being pulled back, turned around with a face which no longer seemed to be his own, and screamed, Be gone, young, jealous harpy. Why do you linger still? She is calling me with a voice that nary a thousand nightingales can match, and here you were calling like a choked crow. Be gone. And saying this, he turned away from her, and Margarita did not relent, and grabbed him by his pants. So the young man turned with a stone in his hand and hit her hard on her face and disappeared, leaving her upon the ground. Yikes. When Margarita opened her eyes again, the snow had ceased falling, and the night was silent, but the light was still there. Enveloped by terror, the young girl ran away as far as she could. When she was found the following morning, her golden hair had turned to white, and her face, once sweet and beautiful, was now disfigured by a long scar. Nothing was again heard of Lucian, and no one ever ventured into those woods again. That doesn't really help me. That does not help me open this door. Uh, I did the ritual, and yet the door is still closed. So maybe there's something I have forgotten. So let's go back to the about seals and their usage. Uh, okay. Ah. If everything is performed correctly, the seal will melt and the candidate will be capable of seeing the image interpreted as if it were present inside of him, as these seals usually do when the preliminary ritual is performed successfully. In the particular case of the seal of the five eyes, one must remember that this is destined to contain a source of intimate pain and torment. The brave one must recognize the pain of the mother and show pity and compassion, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Okay. So these are the pictures revealed. Uh, okay, all I can do is click on each painting, so... Can we put that there? No. What's this? What is this? Is this my sanity meter? Possibly. So let's see if that will fit on the other one. So... There's people holding pitchforks. She's like, I don't know what to do. And all the people are like, watching. And then they're following her with pitchforks and fire. Hmm. So can we... bunch of sawdust but that's not gonna help me mm. I still can't open it okay so it says it's closed all right go back in here 
Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see if there's any other items we can use on other items. So like tool on the wooden box, no. Axe on the wooden box, no. Hooked blade on the wooden box? Wooden box, tell me about it. It's a wooden box with a small opening on the side. It almost looks like a miniature dark room. that we can put in here. No. A box? No. Can you put the woods in there? Oh, okay, no. That goes in that goes in one of the eyes. I'm guessing. See if we can if we can put that on the eye. Yeah. But it has an eye on it, so maybe that's one of the eyes. No, that's not important. Let's go to the journal. Let's see what we got in the journal. Alright. Uh. Okay. Is there a way to fix the stove, maybe? Okay, that's just a thing. Can we light the stove? No. Roots in the vase, no. trial and error.